Well, they're the workhorses for lamps that light America's homes and businesses. Yeah, they're called bulbs. <laughs> and traditionally, that's been the incandescent light bulb. However, that bulb is about to go out. Starting tomorrow, U.S. bulb makers will no longer be able to make or import the standard 40 or 60 watt bulbs. And this evening, Fox 11's Bill Miston explains how that change may affect you and your pocketbook once the old standby will soon no longer be available. Back in 2007, the federal government had a bright idea. Pass a law to use energy more efficiently, affecting a resource you use every day, electricity, and the often overlooked incandescent light bulb. Signed by then-President George W. Bush, the energy bill requires most light bulbs to be 60 to 70 percent more efficient than the standard incandescent. More so in the last three years, these, these 10 bays have changed than my first 15 years of the company. Mike Hessler manages the Home Depot on Green Bay's west side. 175 watt bulbs were the first to go in 2012 and 2013. When you look at this aisle, that incandescent uh, group of light bulbs has shrunk drastically. And when the 60 and 40 watt options already in the market are finally sold, it will shrink even more. Something some consumers aren't too keen on. Really uh, don't think the government should be telling us what kind of light bulb we should be using. Even if it means long-term cost savings. Let me determine that. The cost for the more efficient, longer-lasting options like LEDs or compact fluorescents can cost up to 10 times as much. I've noticed probably a good $30 a month savings. A price others are more than willing to pay. You only buy that one time up front charge and then you electric bill comes 12 months out of the year and it just keeps coming. So it's either pay me now or pay me later. It was 100 years of just bought a bulb off the shelf. Paul Mastler owns a home lighting company in Ashwaubenon. He says consumers need to understand bulbs are no longer a disposable commodity, but a long-term investment. You're going to not be replacing light bulbs. You're going to be uh, replacing fixtures sometime down the road after you're sick and tired of them or they're broken. Or until your grandchildren inherit them. Bill Miston, Fox 11 News. Now, not all incandescent light bulbs are going the way of the dodo bird. Incandescent bulbs for specialty lighting fixtures will still be available.